The inspiration for Only Connect came to me in what I like to call my most enjoyable art viewing day in New York City in the fall of 2018. The highlight of the, of the day was to visit the Guggenheim to see the most notable Hilma Af Klint. She never intended to have this art ever be seen. It was meant to go into a vault and to be shown when she felt the public could actually take it in. When it did come to light, which was about 100 years after it was made and about 40 years after her death, it is very clear that she was making this work preceding Kandinsky and other notables of that time, not for her position in art history or not for any kind of fortune or fame. It was just because the work needed to be made. She began to take her place as a founder of abstract expressionism. And a lot of it had to do with this notion of connecting. Creatives in general never had felt this level of disconnection since the time of the pandemic. And to provide an opportunity and a forum where they could not only reconnect physically, but also creatively was not only an interesting idea, but a really needed idea. Conceptually, that just takes it to a whole other level of the notion of, of private and shared and the reason for making. So I asked several of the artists that I work with to bring together work that they had been making and then also to invite another artist that had had a significant role in how they create and what they were thinking about. We have architects, poets, students that are collaborating to bring each other's work to another dimension. Daniel Tegeter and Charmisa Ray. Danielle has a whole series of collages that definitely relate to cosmology, noting different elements of the cosmos and also architecture. Charmisa Ray, who's actually more of a, of a writer, has incorporated a lot of her writings into the visuals, and they are the ones that are starting this kind of homage to Hilma Af Klimt. Anne Lindbergh asked a very close poet friend of hers to create a poem in response to a piece that she created for this show, where every line is called Solving for X. Every line of the poem speaks very specifically to the visual across from it. It took my breath away when I saw it. Antonia Contro and her counterparts, Clara Lyon and Hannah Collins of the Spectral Quartet, they communicated initially during the pandemic not via Zoom or text, but Antonia would create a piece of art and then send them a picture of it, and they would compose a piece of music to go with that piece. Liliana Porter and Anna Tiscornia, all of her work has a little sense of humor. Anna's work goes in the, kind of the opposite way, typically focusing on politics. In this exhibition, they collaborated with individual works Artist Megan Green, who taught Thalia Augusta in the Chicago High School for the Arts. Their beautiful, almost narrative-like work that in some cases reads like an illustration for William Blake to the very thoughtful hand of Thalia Augusta, who is 19 but is on her way to greatness. Lisa Solar and Liz Nielsen, their process is very similar but with different medium in a kind of a layering of ground colored pencil when it comes to Lisa and uh, layering of chromogenic negatives to get a kind of a similar notion of either a landscape or, or still life. Whitney Bedford, LA based painter, and Anna Schacht. Whitney has always kind of combined the notion of traditional subject matter, be it landscape, uh, seascape, or portraiture, and then to kind of infuse it with this contemporary approach. Heather Becker and Jeannie Gang, they go bird watching together. Then the Hilma Af Klint exhibition, the one image that you could kind of see as a, as a representational thing was actually a swan or a bird that she would use over and over again. Deanna Garamacia and Jesse Herod both work with traditional form of craft quilt making or macrame. They use it really much more so as a fine medium to make paintings with and or sculptures with with this exhibition, there's two common denominators. One is that every maker has a superb handling of their medium. And the second part so happens to be that 
they're all female, less one artist who is gender neutral. The fact that artists are all women is both central and irrelevant to the conversation. Why this show, why at this time, artists are able to return to a more pure, primal, and purposeful intention for creation. I kind of feel like this was Hilma's intention all the time. <laughs>